And with that, the honeymoon is officially over. I have dropped my brand new bike and in a subway parking lot, uh, no less. I didn't even get to do it off-road. Uh, it fell over because the amount of weight that I'm taking in gear is uh, causing the suspension to sag and it's not sitting on the kickstand the way it should. It's not leaning over as much as it should. Uh, so I've got to be careful about sitting it on a slight downhill slope so that it doesn't tip over. So there's basically no damage to the bike. It did bend the handguard, which is in a Cherubis handguard, uh, just a tiny bit, but it scuffed it up. But that was the literal only damage. The bike itself didn't even have a scratch on it. It was just apparently sitting on the handguard and the pannier. So could have been worse, could have been a lot worse. And we were able to continue on the ride. I almost didn't film anymore because the fall actually knocked my helmet off onto the ground and that knocked the battery pack from my GoPro off of my helmet. Uh, I did end up reconnecting it and just carrying the battery pack in my jacket. So today we're heading down Route 9 once again to what is quickly becoming one of my favorite spots. Um, I want to keep this as discreet as possible, so I'm not going to give you any clues as to where it is other than it's down Route 9 past the airline snack bar, which we just went by. This spot is absolutely gorgeous. Every time we've been there, we've been the only ones there. It's free and you just can't beat it. It's easy to get to, it's closer than any of my other spots. I mean, it's just, it's an unbelievable location. is big. You it is a big beach. Just go to the other end of the beach. There's like, if you treated as spots, it's like eight campus spots on that beach. It's huge. Yeah. I mean, even if someone is here, what are the chances they're spending the night? Huh? Even if someone is here, what are the chances they're gonna spend the night? True. I, I mean, just want to check with you guys first. Yeah, just go check I it out. My sunglasses on. And I couldn't see anything coming through the woods. <laughs> it's getting dark. It is getting dark. Yeah. Time to shut up and drink. So now that we're all on the same page, uh, it's time to get to the beach. And there's two ways to go. One, you can go through a water crossing, which is uh, a little longer and a little deeper than what we'd normally like. It's not undoable, but um, you know you get your feet wet, and it's not always pleasant. The other way to go is to go across the beach, uh, where you have to deal with deep sand. 
So, this time around, Dave opts for the sand, and we're going to see how that works out. As any experienced rider will tell you, the key to sand is speed, um, but that's not always as easy as it sounds. I think by far my favorite part of any trip is that point when I roll up to the campsite and everyone got there safely and it's just time to chill out and relax.
here. You really didn't want to do that water crossing, did you? Not really. I wasn't sure what that was uh, in store. Oh, there's no water. It hasn't rained for weeks. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I said I'm just going to beat the motorcycle. I didn't like it. Chugged along though. Huh? They all chugged along. Not bad. Yeah. That's maybe the hardest uh, surface I've ever ridden on. That's crazy. Yeah. It's not sun. <laughs> cool. Whew. That's exhausting, really. Yep. Get your lights on. Yeah. Note to self. Take the water route. <laughs> Can we use the chainsaw? We hiked all the way to Little Fall from the backpack to here. Yeah. bikers a week come through or 45 bikers a week come through a few season. Right. All the local businesses are getting stocked up. Fucking love that shit. That always makes me feel good. He's getting his bed ready. Yep. He's already hit time. He's done. Put the fork in him. I don't know. I think he's got a few more tricks and tools in him. Yeah. Oh yeah, a couple. At least a couple. <laughs> Are we gonna do a uh, fire at this spot? I don't know. There's some like there's some firewood back here that someone didn't finish. We could just go around and like cut some sticks off trees and like, make a little make a little smudge. Yeah. Hey Grace. Little smudge. Hey Grace. Cover it up in the morning. I had to get my dinner. What you doing? Get my dinner. Got place to cover you with that. It is a is it? Can't wait to crawl in that fucking hand. Oh, they, they look good. Yeah, they do. The thing is that my buddy has a couple. What? The one I got? Yeah. It's looking like that. And the other two I got? Yeah. Okay. part about it is it doesn't work for shit. No? Damn it. Well, Out of my good stuff though. What it's done is made my feet really shiny. Ooh! Nice! So no tarp needed tonight. It is clear and calm and we are all 
with the exception of the bug nets, are sleeping under the stars. <laughs>